The knights are getting ready for battle, checking their helmets and swords. We're in a television drama. This is a production designer's dream and nightmare. Every detail has to be historically accurate on set. Susanna Jauch and her team have prepared the shoot for months, gathering all the costumes and props. I rarely have such a big team. It's a huge challenge. We have to cover three centuries at once. We don't finish the 13th, then move to the 15th and so forth, because the shoot isn't chronologically ordered. Even in rural Switzerland, it's hard to find unbuilt-up areas suitable for a battle scene. The location scouting took a month. In the end, we used Google Earth and army maps to find the right place, with the right features and no electricity poles. For all the scenes taking place in town, there's a lot of set dressing to be done, even in an intact medieval town like Rappersview, near Zurich. At seven in the morning, rubbish bags are removed from site and cobblestones are dusted with earth. Could you please align that a bit better? All modern signs are hidden for a couple of hours. Laundry is hung to hide street lamps. Parking space markings are temporarily deleted. At nine o'clock, the director inspects the set. And the roses, you get the roses. You may want to cut those roses. They're too beautiful. They will get in prison. <laughs> really? Some of the extras are running a bit wild. The set starts to live and the shoot can begin. The victorious military leader Hans Waldmann returns to Zurich, where men and women, especially women, show him their appreciation. It needs a second take. Some of the shops behind the awnings are still visible. But the roses end up staying. These roses are a trademark of the town of Rappersville. They'll kill me if I cut them. When the street was empty, I also thought they stood out too much. But now, with all the colorful costumes, they're totally okay. The TV drama on important historical Swiss figures will be broadcast at the end of 2013.